y'all. I hope they're having an awesome day. And today I am going to be showing you how I get a full coverage, long lasting face look foundation. What? Basically, I'm going to be showing all of the products that I use to get a flawless looking base that lasts me all day long. And I'm talking like at like 12 hours at least of wear time. Um, because I don't like to touch up, but if I do have to touch up, I am also going to show you what I do whenever I do need to touch up my makeup. So, we are going to jump right into it. I am just going to go ahead and start applying everything onto my face and talk with you as I go through it. So, the first thing, we are starting out with a completely clean face. My face is cleansed and toned and moisturized. I did all of that maybe 30 minutes ago, and we are going to go in with our clean phalanges and go in with our primer. Now, I like to use two different primers. I like to use my Revlon Photo Ready, which I painstakingly took the cap off because there was still like quite a bit in there and it was not pumping up at all, which now I've kind of scraped the bottom of the barrel and I need to get a new one. But we are also going to go in with the Maybelline Master Prime. Um, and this is in the Hydrate and Smooth one. And most of this is all drugstore priced makeup, um, except for one thing, which is my concealer. Um, but everything else is drugstore priced. So it is an affordable option to having flawless looking skin. I am just digging some of my, my Revlon Pore Reducing Primer out of the bottle. And I apply this right here to the sides of my nose, my forehead, a little on my chin, and just going to work this into the skin. This is the only pore, like pore filling or pore reducing primer that I have ever used that I really think makes a difference. So now that we are all zoomed in, I'm going to go in with my other primer, which is the Maybelline Master Prime. And like I said, this one is in the Hydrate and Smooth formula, I guess. Um, and what I usually do, I will take it and go all over my face. And I'm gonna appear on my chin. I love this stuff. Uh, it's really, really nice. Really awesome. I do take it right up here under my eyes. It's not overly hydrating, so if you do have dry skin, I mean, you might want to go in with like a primer oil or, you know, something more hydrating than this, because I wouldn't say for dry skin that this would necessarily, you know, help with that. Now that this is all pressed in, we are going to move on. Now I am going to be using two different foundations. The two foundations that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation and the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. This is in the shade 402 Nude Beige and my Physician's Formula is in the shade LW2. Um, I do think that with the L'Oreal, I probably could go down one step in the shade and it would be a little bit better match for me because this is just a little too warm and a little too like, I don't know, it gets kind of orangey looking on my skin. We need to take a moment and talk about this. The Morphe setting spray, hands down the best setting spray ever, like that I have ever tried in existence. Um, this is my second bottle of this, and I'm absolutely infatuated with it. It is just an amazing setting spray. So what I'll do, take this, and then I will go in with the L'Oreal and do a few stripes on each cheek. One down here. And like that. And then before I blend this in, I do take my Physician's Formula and I do a couple strips of this. These two products together, they, I mean, they're just, it's, it's a magnificent pair. I like the color of my Physician's Formula. It goes real, it just 
it does awesome things with this other one. I mean, the color is really spot on and it tones down that kind of oranginess. I just really like how the stick foundation goes on and I mean, it does have really good lasting power with it. So those two together is just like tops for me. Um, and I am blending this out with the new Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush collection. This is the JH03 brush. So I will just buff this in everywhere onto my skin. Okay, so now that I have that all buffed in, um, I am just going to go back and see if there's any places that I feel like I need to build up my coverage just a little bit more. I do have quite a bit of scarring on my face, and I do have a breakout right here that I picked and I'm mad at myself for, but whatever, I can resist. Anyway, so I'm just going to build up the coverage on these few areas just a little bit more, and to do that, I will just go back in. with the stick foundation. It's always right here along my jaw that my um, that my acne scars will start to peek through first so I do like to make sure that I cover that really well. Okay. And then whenever I'm going in with the second kind of layer or spot treatment with the foundation, I'm only going to press, I'm not going to swirl, because I don't want to remove any of the foundation that I just put down. And then just to give everything just like one more kind of like smooth out, I take my uh, Real Technique sponge and it is damp and I will just kind of lightly go over it and it's just going to pick up any excess foundation that I have and just kind of help to smooth everything down and make sure it's all blended. Um, since using a retinol in my skincare routine, I don't really get the in-between eyebrow creasings as much anymore. Um, but I do still like to go over it just a little bit more right there to make sure that it's not gathering in any creases. And once I'm done with that, I will yet again go in with my Morphe setting spray. So now that we have the foundation done, um, I am going to move on to concealers. Now I say concealers because I'm extra and I need two. I love my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and this is in the shade Ivory and also my Tarte Shape Tape and I have the shade Fair Neutral. First I will go in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I kind of put this, like I go hard in with this. I do a lot of it. I'm not ashamed. I love this concealer and my eyelids because to me this is like such an amazing eye primer for your eyeshadows. Once I have this on I will go in with my shape tape and I don't go as hard with this because this is so pigmented and a little bit of it goes such a long way. I usually I don't always take this onto my eyelids because sometimes I feel like I apply too much and then it will crease on me if I do that. So I just take my Real Technique sponge and I go over where I just applied all my concealer. I start with the middle of my face from the bottom up. I don't know why, but I do. And then I will go in on my under eyes. They all, I don't know why I always do my eyelids last. And then, so I was blending with this side. I will turn my sponge so it's on a side that is clean. And I will just really lightly, mostly on my lids, just go over that. Because I want to prevent any creasing and it just picks up the extra product. 
So now that we have that all blended out really quickly, I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder, uh, loose powder, and this is in the shade 05 Fair. Get some in the cap. And I go in with the, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I go in with either the tip of it or the flat edge. And I'll pick up the loose powder on my damp sponge and start applying that. And then I do go all over my nose with it because if I am going to get oily or anything throughout the day, the first place it's going to show up is on my nose. So I do set my entire nose pretty heavily with loose powder. Also going to get it right here on my chin. Right around here on my smile lines. And see, I'm already getting a little creasing on my eyelid, so I'll just blend this out with the other side of the sponge. And I will set my eyelids with this powder as well. Now that we are sufficiently powdered, now whenever I do this, the powder, it does sink in pretty well, so it's not like a bake where I have to dust it off in just a few minutes. I mean, it's pretty sunk in, but what I will do now, I will go in with my Physician's Formula Powder, and this is the Minimal, why do I keep saying Minimal? Mineral Wear Talc Free Powder, and this is in the shade Creamy Natural. This is my Jaclyn Hill brush, and it is the JH07 brush. So I will take this, pick up that powder, and go right in here. It just adds a little bit more brightness underneath my eyes. And which actually, I like the translucent powder of this better because it is a lot, it's, it's not translucent at all, so don't get it twisted. Um, but it just adds more of a bright, highlighted effect whenever you use that one. And I will just kind of really lightly dust this one around, because if there is any loose powder on my face, then I will go ahead and dust it off while I'm doing this. So, for the rest of my face, since I don't have very dry skin, um, I do need to set my face, because this foundation combination, it doesn't really set down for me. Um, it is one that you do have to powder or else you are going to get it moving around on you. So for that, I will do a couple different things just depending on my mood that day. Um, I will go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, pressed powder and this is in the shade Warm Light, which I am very much hit pan on and I need to replace it. Or I will go in with a little bit more of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, whatever I'm feeling. But I will do that with the JH01 brush. So I just swirl it around in my powder. And just hit my cheeks right here. Just to set down that foundation so it doesn't move on me. Okay, so now that that is done and I am powdered, I will go in yet again with my Morphe setting spray. I'm just doing it really lightly and I kind of dry it off. So as you can see here, that is my skin. So I will go ahead and just kind of run through the rest of my face makeup of how I would do it. I am going to take my bronzer, and I uh, got the Hoola Light Bronzer, and I got it during the Ulta Beauty 21 Days of Beauty. I think that's still going on right now, um, but I will take that on my JH02 brush, kind of go in on one side like that, and press that in. And what I've been doing with my bronzer recently, I don't take it as far in as I used to. I kind of just do it right here on like the backs of my cheeks. I'm going to go in with my Milani blush, and this is in the shade Blossom Time Rose. 
and I'm going to use my JH06 brush and I just swirl it in there, load it up, smile, and just apply this to the front of my cheeks, lightly blending back. And then next is my highlight, and I'll use whatever highlight that I'm feeling that day. Lately, I've been going in with the ColourPop um, Pressed Highlight. This one is in the shade Here Kitty Kitty. And I will take that on my JH09 brush. As you can tell, I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Brushes kit. I got the Master Kit, and I've been loving them. Like, I don't use my other brushes that much. Actually, I take that back. Not really. I need to wash my other brushes, that way I can kind of commingle them and use them all together, because my other brushes have not been washed in a hot end. And what I've been doing is taking my highlight up my temple like this. But I do, like, I need to be careful with this highlight because I have noticed that it kind of gets a little chunky on my face. And it doesn't, it just doesn't blend out like I wish that it would. So whenever, because see, I feel like right there it just gets so chunky and it just clumps up together. So to do that I will go in with another highlight to fix that situation and a different brush. If my highlight is a little bit chunky or maybe I just want it to look a little bit different, add another color, um, I will go in with a Morphe M310 brush and I will grab any other highlight. I'm going to go in with my LA Colors highlight in the shade Champagne and I just lightly tap in with this. Tap off the excess and I go in with this, with this brush. Now this highlight is blinding on its own. But I will use this brush just to soften those edges so it's not just like a stripe sitting on my skin. And then to highlight my nose and the rest of my face, I will go in with my JH06, no, my JH09 brush. And any of the highlights that I used, I'll just kind of go in with those. So do my nose a little down the bridge a little bit. I'll hit my chin, Cupid's bow. like whole upper lip. <laughs> and really, really lightly on my forehead. One thing I like to do, I like to highlight like my nostril right here. Just really lightly highlight my nostril. It makes it look so much more skin-like. A little bit of a highlighted nostril. Let's get that going, highlighted nostrils. Now, if I feel like I went in a little bit too hard with my highlight, or maybe it blended down a little too far, I will take my brush that I used for my under eye powder, and that is the JH07 brush, and I will just go back in, usually it's with my Physician's Formula powder, pick up a little bit of that, and then just kind of go over the areas where I just kind of got a little out of control. We are almost done with the base. Um, to kind of finish it off, I will go in with either my Fit Me Loose Powder or maybe my Air Spun Powder. I will pick that up on the flat edge of my Real Technique sponge. And I will stamp that right here on my jaw. It just kind of gives me just a little bit more coverage on that area and cleans up right under my bronzer. While I'm waiting on this to bake on my face, I am going to go off camera, do my eyebrows real quick, and then we're gonna come back, brush this off, and then get our last bit of setting spray in, and then we'll be done. 
Okay, so I am back and I ended up putting on pretty much a lot more makeup than I was going to. Um, so I'm just going to run down what I have on my face. We're going to brush off this bake and we will be done. So on my lips, I have the Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Pigment in the shade Rose Before Bros. My lashes are the Kiss Lash Couture Lashes. I don't know why I'm showing you the empty box, but these are in the style Midnight. On my brows, I used my L'Oreal, what is it called, Brow Stylist Definer. This is in the shade Dark Brunette. I use that in the front of my brows. And my tails, my Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Deep, yeah, Deep Brown. And then for my eyes, I didn't go in with a lot. I only went into one shade, and it was the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Palette. Uh, it's the Dark Magic Palette, and I went in with the shade Shh. So, that is what I'm wearing on my face, and I'm going to take my big old powder brush, dust off this bake, and we are going to heavily set our face with the Morphe Setting Spray. Here. I love going in really heavy with the setting spray at the end once I'm all done. I just feel like it really like melts the makeup into my skin. So that is it. Um, I really like how it turned out. Um, this is kind of like a look that I've been going for recently. Um, usually I don't do this lip. I will usually go in with like kind of a nude liquid lip. It lasts all day and I don't have to reapply it. I am all about my makeup lasting all day because I just I don't like to mess with it but if I do have to mess with it if I notice that I am getting shiny on my nose or anything like that um, I will take like a blotting paper or even a tissue um, tissue or like a piece of toilet paper rip it down to one ply and then just kind of pat off that area or if I have like a little foundation rub off or something I will take a cushion foundation like the uh, Wet n Wild Mega Cushion I'll take that just lightly go in wherever I need to it blends in nicely fixes whatever happened so I believe that is it for today I hope that you enjoyed the video um, you know you don't have to use the exact same products that I do um, or go in this hard with your makeup. Just find a routine that works good for you. This one works good for me, and now that it is, uh, 4.22 in the afternoon, I'm gonna have this makeup on for a while because, to me, it kind of gets better as the day goes on, you know what I'm saying? So that's another reason why I like this foundation routine. So, I'm going to quit babbling. I'm going to go probably play some GTA and start... Look at that. I need to eat again. I need to take this lipstick off. Okay. So, if you liked this video and you want to see some more just like it, make sure you click the like button and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye.